Hey there, this is the Japanese Retro Game Center with another YouTube video. Uh, I just did some retro game hunting recently and I found a couple really cool items that I want to go over and show you. Uh, as you can see, I got my little TV out. I just set it on the uh, couch right here. And the reason for that is because of the RF switch, the antenna switch stuff I have to deal with. So without further ado, here is the, if I can get it without shadows, there we go, the color. TV game, Terebi Game U, Blocku Kazushi. So, like a block ball, pinball, or whatever game. So, this is one of the uh, color TV game series from Nintendo. So, this is the pre Famicom, pre NES system stuff that they made. So, yeah, here it is. It's in pretty good condition. So, we'll look right here. It has this is the on off right over here. This releases the ball right here. We have a reset button. The game select, right? Switch, there's six games to choose from. All the games are on here, so it has block ball, it has different forms. There's basic, there's one with a line missing with it. The third one there is, uh, there's lines at the bottom. The fourth one's spread out, and then there's a couple more shapes there, five and six. And then how many balls you get? Three, five, or seven in there. And then the knob, the control knob, is here on the right. So that makes things a little bit difficult, because I'm used to, you know, used to that being on the left, so... It's uh, kind of difficult to play with in that sense there. Um, all the stickers. We got some stickers there. Nintendo logo still there. Um, the face panel's pretty good right here. Everything's on there. All the wording and everything there. So let's see on the back. You have your, uh, in Japan, it's the channel 1, channel 2 selector. And it has the warnings block, Kazushi, right? The label right there. On the side, here it has the, so the AC adapter right here is right here, plugs in right here, right, no, pretty normal right there, pretty standard. The AC adapter, I have it plugged in right here. Let's look at it, I actually got it in there upside down. Um, let's pull it out. It's really goofy, like there's the plug. If it was right side up, it'd be like this, with it being on top instead of on the bottom with the label. Um, pretty standard. I think the codes even match up with the uh, Famicom. I'm not sure there, but it looks the same to me. Um, and the plug, it's like not even centered. It's in a weird spot. And so I actually have mine in there upside down. So it fits in there like that. Um, very goofy, but... Just for testing purposes, there it is. So it's hooked up right here. For the antenna switch, the RF switch, the cord, it's actually built in. The cable's built in. And I have it running, all the cables go to the back here. And that built-in cable is right here at the back of the TV. And it actually, let me pull that real quick here. It's in there really well. Alright, so that cable right here. It looks just like the RF switch on a, uh, you know, on the NES or on the uh, Famicom. Except, usually this plugs into the system. Like this end, like that, usually plugs into the system. But here, it plugs into... Let's see if I can get a shot of it. It plugs into this wonderful thing right here, this antenna switch. And it just slides as game to antenna. And of course, the different functions right there, and TV. And it actually just slides. It's not even like a real. It kind of clicks there at the end, at each end, and 10 hour game. But in between, it just slides. And there's the out. And there's the out there. And then I got it plugged in. Bam, into my little TV right there. So instead of uh, trying to mess with my big TV, I just pulled out the little TV for this, which makes things a lot easier. So let's check. The gameplay here. Hold on. Plug this back in. Okay. So I have a two-part series here. So this is part one. This is going to be the block. Ooh. The block Kazushi. The block ball here. All right. Back up front. Let's turn it on. There we go. All right. So you see the screen. Right. I got it on game one. 
reset it. Yeah, it actually came up the same. I noticed when I turn it on and off different places, the screen actually starts in different places, but if you reset, it goes back to normal. All right, so that's that. So we got our little guy right here, control on the right side. I'm holding the camera, so I'm gonna use my left hand for this. So the pink-ish, I guess it's showing up as white here, but the white pinkish is is the actual walls, but your controller can actually go through it, which is pretty common with these old school games. All right, let's press the button. Here comes a ball. It actually goes through the blocks the first time, but then after that, it hits the wall and stays in bounds. So here we go. So at the top, you got your score. I guess you got the spot. I think the spot in the middle is like high score for later. And then, um, then how many balls you have is on the right side there. So let's just go through here. So yeah, they go right through the first time. Oh, that's nice. I hit it right there. So we'll let it go. Here's the last ball going out. That's it. Nice, nice score of 14 there in block ball. All right, so let's go to a different game. Okay. So when I switched to a different game, it moved the score over to the middle, but then I just reset it, so it went back. So here, let's go through the balls again. Oh, I actually hit it that time. All right, let it go. So you see, score four, no balls left. Let's switch the game over. All right, so, uh-huh, okay, okay. So, it just takes it one time the previous score over, and then if you switch through the games, it clears it out again. So, there you go. Uh, six games, all different versions of Block Ball, Block Kazushi from Nintendo. A uh, very old school game, very unique. And, uh, yes, I will be selling this. This will be in my eBay store um, in the near future, hopefully. So, uh, hang on for part two. See you then.